for those <laughs> that guessed it, probably not because this channel used to consist of uh, a Honda and a BMW, which I still have. I'll show you right now. I still have the M4 right there. A lot of updates on that. But I just want to get you guys on a little update on these two, right? So let's start off with this one right here. This one right here I bought for approximately like $1,000, I want to say, which is pretty good because they're, they're going for a lot of money right now. All original, everything's clean. I did all the maintenance on it pretty much. Most people's wrong with this one is rust right here. And it's pretty much it. I mean, the bodies, they're not just, both of them are not in bad shape, but this one's getting painted. Um, this side's not that bad. So pretty much where it was hit is on this corner on this side. Um, I took it all apart and I bought the JDM front end for it, which is, if you guys don't know, I could explain the differences between the USDM and the JDM front end um, in the video or whatever. But I bought uh, the JDM front end, I replaced it on this one. And now I bought this one. And what I wanna do is since I wanna keep the JDM front end, I'm gonna put this front end on this one and then to put this front end on this one so I could sell this one. Now you're probably wondering why I bought two and not just work on this one. I'll fix this one, of course. I wanna sell it because it's a, an automatic. So it's an automatic and whatever, yeah, I could swap it to a manual or whatever, but I wanted an original manual one since I wanna keep it. And that's where that one comes in. So this one I got for 4,500, which is, it's, it's, it's a little steep for these cars. Uh, paint isn't in the best condition, but it has no accidents. Clean Carfax. Uh, they both have around 175,000 miles. This one has no bodywork, no repainted panels or anything like that. And most importantly, no rust on none of the quarter panels. Which is really good. Most importantly, it's a factory manual. So, this is my project car now. All right, guys, so I'm getting close. Took off this headlight, I'm about to take this one off. Took off the front bumper. I'm about to take this side off and I'm gonna just take the whole front end off on this one. And I'm not gonna put this one together yet, but I am gonna attempt to put that one together because this one I daily drive. So I gotta have a front end on this one. So the way you take these headlights off, there's a 10 here two tens on the side over here. So this is a clip down here, which is this one, which the uh, headlight kind of just pops into. So, yep, let's get started on that. At this time, I'm trying to put up another clip, but it seems like my data got corrupted. It's not letting me load this video. So I took a little screen recording and there was actually like three or four more clips after this that are just uh, loading in and I can't recover them for some reason. All right, guys, and approximately, I don't know, three hours later, I finished the front end, everything, oh, I'm seeing the emblem there. I'll put the emblem now, I have one there. Front end's looking good. This one, I just finished up the wiring and the headlights are working, everything's good. Yeah, a little oil leak there, I wonder where that's coming from, I have to check that out. What's going on guys? The video that I'm posting is was recorded a long time ago and I'm currently um, still working on this car. This is the current stage is in right now. As you guys can see, I'm trying to do a little wiring management. I'm uh, taking stuff apart because I have everything brand new for it and I just want everything to look 
as clean and as OEM as possible. The car was already painted. I did, I think I mentioned in the past couple of videos that I was gonna paint this, but the car was already painted and um, I'm gonna do a follow up video to this, but it's just an ending video for the, the, the video that I'm posting, which was like, I'm not gonna lie, it was probably like a year ago or not. This is currently how the car's sitting and uh, I'm gonna post way more on this coming on to 2023. So look forward to that. Anyways. If you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up. I know I don't post as much, but this year I am gonna post way more, especially with this car and a little bit of this car. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get rid of it or not, but uh, yeah, here's the IS300, the way it sits right now. And I'll do a follow-up video with all the updates I've done to it. Also, excuse the mess here. I'm, I'm just putting up these cabinets now to you know store things and all this will be cleaned up soon. I'm in the middle of cleaning. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace.